So then, hi everyone, let's hope this time works because I've tried to film this about six times and each time it just doesn't go right or I end up getting emotional. Um, but I'm going to do like an unedited version but if like I say something that like maybe I shouldn't have said I'm, I might edit it out. Um, there's nothing like major going on, but if I keep like looking down, it's because I've got everything that I want to say written on this piece of paper because I don't want to like get to the end and be like, oh shit, I forgot to say that. Oh crap, I forgot. To... Do you know what I mean? Like when I'm editing it and being like, fuck no. Well, not editing because I'm not allowed to, but watching it through. So the first thing is obviously... I've told you guys, so like people who watch these videos like all the time or if you're new when you want to subscribe you can do because I do a lot of these where like I rant and like spill maybe some tea or like something like that is me and my boyfriend of 10 months called Adam who if you have been a subscriber for a long time and have watched for like a long time will know um it was called Adam, we were together for 10 months, um, we were together on my 18th birthday, things like that, like, we did a couple, like, milestones that we were together for, um, but then in April, literally, just as my mum was going to Florida, so it wasn't even as if I had my mum to, to, like, speak to about this, me and him split up, um, now it was for the best it was for the best like looking on and like looking back on it now like obviously at the time I was like very upset like very upset like my first relationship of like and it was 10 months like 10 months is a long time at my age like a long time um but yeah me and him split up it was for the best like we were we just worked better as friends if I'm honest with you like we were friends before boyfriend and girlfriend where it should be like boyfriend and girlfriend then friends or like together it was always friends then boyfriend and girlfriend um so it was like a, more or less like a mutual thing we both decided to end it um now me and him decided to try and stay friends and if I'm honest, it's not worked. Like, we went to a concert together last month because we bought the tickets whilst we were together. Um, and I don't know, I just, I found it. And I'm bound to find it awkward because we just split up, like, the month, like, more or less two months before that concert, we split up. We hadn't really seen one another since splitting up like properly to have a sit down chat so literally everything that we wanted to say came out at that concert or like on the train journey there and back like we made a rule not like to speak about the concert but there and back on the train we spoke and i mean really spoke to the point where I was like literally so drained and tired because we just we spoke about everything like why it ended what both of us were feeling like how we were feeling but the other thing that had changed and this is the good bit for me anyway because I'm incredibly happy now I'm not saying that I wasn't happy when me and him were together but I'm a lot happier now I'm in a new relationship and when we were at that concert I was in that relationship I just got into a new relationship and what Adam was saying was he still had feelings for me so for me to be in that type of situation where I'm in a new relationship I am incredibly happy with this person like so happy um like no feelings left at all for Adam, obviously, because I'm in a new relationship. I'll get onto that in a minute. But for him to sit there and be like, 
well, I still have feelings for it. It was like a massive head fuck because I was like, hang on a minute. Like, you ended... It was more on his point where it ended because he was just so controlling and possessive and I just thought to myself, do you know what I mean? Like, if he wasn't like that, then we probably would have still been together, but I'm so glad we're not. Um, But, yeah, so we're not we're not friends really if i'm honest with you like we talk but we're not friends like if he needs me i'm there for him and equally i know that if i need somebody he'll be there for me but we're not friends like at all anymore and it's upsetting because he just doesn't put the effort into like a friendship and i'm like i cannot be asked for people that don't put effort into a friendship i'm like fuck off do you know what i mean so like i said I'm in a new relationship, it's called Ryan, um, he lives like literally 15 minutes away from me, so like it's easy to get there, um, he is 20 and I'm 18, so like there's a two year age gap which I tend to go for people older than me anyway, so it doesn't really bother me, but in fact it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother my parents because he has met them, he's met my sister, he's met my grandma, He's met one of my closest friends, which Adam never did. So, to me, it's, like, so much better than my last relationship ever could have gone. Like, he's met my friends, he's got my friend's approval, which, if I'm honest with you, Adam never had. Um, But, yeah, and I'm just in a really, like, a really good, stable place. Um, Like... And he just, he's, he, do you know, like, when they're your best friend, but then also your partner at the same time, it's literally like that. And I honestly couldn't be happier. Like, I've never been so much myself in a relationship. Like, never. Like, with Adam, I changed, like, completely. Like, and it probably came across on camera as well, but, like, I am so happy now. Like, I'm always smiley, I'm always chirpy, and I'm just so glad that he came into my life when he did. So, if you're watching, you know how I feel. <laughs> um, But, yeah, I am so, so happy. Like, I've met his family, and the lovely i've not met any of his friends yet which i'm absolutely dreading because i never met <laughs> any of adam's friends so i don't know how that goes um but i'm sure it'll go good because they know how he feels and they know how i feel so i keep looking at the time because i'm expecting a phone call off my friend um but yeah the second thing that's different is i've got a job at a supermarket now so i'm enjoying that i've got a job there I've not worked there that long, like probably like two weeks at this point now. Not even that, like a week, a week. I've worked there probably a week, almost two. Love it. It's at Tesco's, which is like a supermarket in the UK. I don't think they're a, like a worldwide company. I just think they're a UK company. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I work there on checkouts. My good friend Jack, well... I say good friend, my best friend, or one of, Jack works there. So it's lovely because me and him now work together as well as being really close friends. Yeah, so that's the second thing. Now the third thing is not like anything major, but, well, it's two things like wrapped into one. So one of them is know your worth, which goes along with realising who your true friends are. So... When, and I've got a pen because I get really like nervous speaking about things like this, but when me and Adam split up, I really, and I mean really fucking realised who my true friends were. Because I went through a really, it was a hard breakup, it was like a difficult breakup, it wasn't easy, but you realise when you go through shit, you realise who your true friends are. Like, my true friends were texting, were phoning, were making sure I was okay, was wanting to plan stuff, even though I didn't want to do anything. Dragged me along to prom so that 
And that turned out to be one of the best things ever because that was when I met Ryan. Um, so yeah, so like they dragged me on to prom, we did loads of stuff. And I just realised really who my true friends were. I'd say from like, probably like mid-April onwards, like I've really realised who they are. And I will forever be grateful for them because I just think to myself, if people don't want you as the person that you are, then fuck them off. Like, there's certain people that I thought were my true friends. Ali Bollocks, my true friends. They don't care about me. They never have cared about me because if they'd always cared about me, they'd have been there for me when I needed them. So... I'm just, what I'm saying is, you hit a certain age and you really do fucking realise who your true friends are and you'll feel like you're so lonely because you're losing people that you thought were your friends but I tell you what, the people that stick around, hold on to them because they are people that will be in your life for the rest of your life whenever you need them and I am so grateful that I went through such a shit time and actually realised who my true friends were. Because if I'd not realised that, I'd still be thinking that people who aren't my true friends were my friends. And I am forever grateful for realising who they are. And you know who you are if you watch him. Um, like I said, I posted this thing on my Snapchat story, which I'm not giving you my Snapchat, obviously. But my like Snapchat, I posted on my story... When you go through a shit time, you realise who your true friends are. And this proves something. So, someone that I thought was one of my really close, close, close friends read that story, didn't message me. People who I've probably... I don't know, like, they are my friends, but people who I thought would never pop up have popped up. So, and what I'm saying is, don't post something on your Snapchat story to realise who your true friends are, but be very wary of who certain friends are and knowing your worth and realising that certain people aren't your friends. And another thing that really infuriates me is, when people... Get somebody new into their life and they fuck off people that were close to them. I don't like people like that. And if you are one of them people, don't be so negative and don't push people away. Because that certain person at one point in your life might leave you. And then you're going to be stuck with nobody. So keep the people closest to you that you love and that love you for you and that care about you. So, we're going to end on a positive note. So, I've realised who my true friends are. I am incredibly happy that I've realised who my true friends are. I'm incredibly, incredibly happy with my new relationship. And hopefully one day he will come on the channel so you guys can get to meet him. So, I think that's everything. I hope you have enjoyed this little, like, little video, this like, little unedited video. And I shall see you guys very soon. Bye for now.